Oh, oh, sick. Little nervous, little nervous. We got a lot to make happen. GoPros, burnout's angle, my angle. No, no, dude. Before we get into that, I'd like to thank Simply Safe for being the sponsor of today's video, and I'll tell you more about them a little bit later. Guys, on this week's vlog, <laughs> we're gonna blow your freaking minds because we got the helicopter, we got a new giveaway truck, we got a base jumper, and we got about a oh, close to thousand foot cliff right behind us. And a couple of these items are gonna be going off that cliff here in a minute. This is wild. It's crazy and it's behind the scenes action of how we run our business. We're gonna show you how we actually make money by throwing people off of cliffs. So buckle up, check out the new vlog. You're gonna enjoy. So what we got going on today? We got some base jumping and some crazy uh, heavy D ideas. I don't know what to expect or, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna base jump one guy from off a cliff from one truck to another truck. That's about all I know, but that's, it's gonna be a good time. What are your thoughts about that, Matt? A lot of moving parts. Lots of moving parts, lots of camera angles. It's gonna be a uh, long day, but it should come out pretty cool. It's going to look pretty awesome if we nail it, so I'm excited. Awesome. <laughs> oh. We've got Matt cleaning the trucks because they got dirty on the way down here. Lots of bugs. We missed the wrong spot. We missed it by that much on the map. So because Google Maps, it pulled us to this trail, because I guess this one's recognized on Google Maps, but the one we're going to is not. And so we, we overdrove where we're supposed to go. So we have to turn around, load up, drive maybe a mile back, and then we should be at the right spot. If we had a better navigator, it'd be great. Cool. Yeah. You cannot put this on me. Navigation, guys, no. sucks. <laughs> that's, that's incorrect. Yeah, well, no, it, it's very correct. We're here. We're in the wrong spot, and he was navigating. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how to pass the blame on to somebody cleaner than that. Well, can we, we just find go? a way? Can Let's we go? go. <laughs> <laughs> huh? did a great job, navigator. Hey, S my D. Hey. I can't say water. I can't say curse words on this video, but pretend I was right now, because I'm cursing at you in my head right now. Are you saying, like, forget you? Forget you! Forget you too, bro! All right, all right, we gotta go. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? you do, you're the drone guy? I'm the drone guy. What's your username? Uh, your... Epic Drone Works. Epic Drone Works. Yeah. All right, so it's gonna be epic today? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All right, cool. What are you expecting is gonna happen today? No idea. I don't think I've really been told what we're doing today, so <laughs> I guess that's the point, right? Yeah, expect the unexpected, huh? <laughs> yep. How you doing, man? Hey, Cole. Lance. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, let's go base jumping. Woo. Hey, you get that dirty boys. here. I might get dirty. Uh, I think I think the first time we'll film from the top everything we can from the top and then the second time we'll do it again we'll film from the bottom okay. every time around we'll film from the bottom as best we can because he has two paths we have uh gopros i would say have everybody other than dave and maybe one camera i don't know we have 
So we were thinking we right now so we don't burn all our fuel. Let's have Dave start making his way down here. Let's have everybody else go to the edge. We'll go land, shut down, and then whoever needs to shuttle people, I'll shuttle them. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, this is looking good. Looks like a nice place to get down there, get the trucks down next to the helicopter. Maybe put the tailgate right off of this thing and send it. Let's go check it out. Guys, before we get any further into this journey that you're watching, I gotta show you something that I'm super freaking stoked about. Look at this. So you guys already know that my hangar is like my safe place, right? Like this is where I keep all my toys, all my personal stuff. This is a very, very important special place for me, which is why it's very important to keep this place super duper safe, which is why I ordered this. So before I open this, I gotta tell you, I hate security companies. I have dealt with the best and the worst over the years. But overall, I just don't love how complicated the process is of having to set up security at my home, at my office, all these different places, which is why when Simply Safe came to me and said, hey, we have a system in a box, I was like, nah, too good to be true. Well, guess what? It's true. And I'm gonna show you right now what comes in this box that you ordered from Simply Safe. So, first thing you get, some very easy to follow instructions. As you start going through the box, you got motion detectors, you've got smoke detectors, you've got glass break sensors, you've got the keypad to arm and disarm when you walk in the door, you've got a smart lock that controls your deadbolts, you've got wireless key fobs. I have one in my pocket right now. Legitimately a wireless key fob, like what your truck has. Bam, I'm here, bam, I'm away, arm the system. I'm stoked about that. Then it has your base station, which is basically your alarm. It's the microphone, the speaker, all that stuff. Bam, right there. You've got cameras. It comes with the video doorbell. Legitimately, Simply Safe has thought of just about everything. They have a freeze sensor to tell if something's freezing. They've got a water sensor to tell if you're flooding. So it's got a panic uh, button, so you can hit that and it'll basically trigger all the alarms. It's got all sorts of entry sensors. So you can put these on all the different doors. Guys, everything you need comes in this box right here. This took me, I'm not gonna lie, I already set it up. A lot of these are empty boxes, but this took me legitimately 30 minutes to get set up. And that was it. I didn't have to run a bunch of wires. I didn't have to do a bunch of, you know, pulling power and stuff like that. Everything I needed was right here. Guys, this is no joke. One of the simplest security systems I've ever come across, but at the same time, one of the most effective. Like I can genuinely feel comfortable leaving at the end of the day, knowing that all my toys, all my special stuff here is gonna be nice, safe, and protected when I go home and sleep peacefully. But check this out. When I'm leaving for the day, all I gotta do is hit Please away on the keypad. Now. It tells me that I'm leaving. The door sensors know whether the door is being opened or closed. We leave, the alarm arms, and bam. My hangar and all my toys are safe and sound for the night. Now guys, I want you to experience security. So what I want you to do is click the link in my description below because it's gonna take you straight to Simply Safe site so you can check out their award-winning home security system for yourself. It's cheap, it's easy, it's simple to set up, and it works. So guys, just remember, if I don't personally use it, I don't promote it. 
That's on my personal hanger, so all my belongings are safe and sound. Check it out. So guys, today is definitely gonna be one of these kind of days. We're gonna go ahead and take the doors of the helicopter and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those right off because it's hot and we want as much visibility as we can possibly get. Now, granted, this helicopter does have air conditioning and it works actually really, really well because it's powered by the turbine uh, engines, but I like the doors off. It just gives us more visibility and it's just flat out cooler. So this helicopter can actually be flown with both doors off and with both rear doors wide open. Okay, so the guys are starting to roll up right now. We've got the new giveaway truck, which I'm not gonna do, not gonna show you too much of just yet. Then we have Mr. Marshall Miller right here. This guy right here Woo. is the only one crazy enough I don't know, bro. to just jump off of that. Hey, hey. What are you laughing? <laughs> dude. Oh, so uh, right now we're scoping out a spot basically to bring the truck to. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be right here. Cause Marshall, see how the road right here? Yeah, this is nice. It kind of ends right there as far as like a straight flat section that seems like the straightest flat spot who's gonna roll their wheels off of this thing? <laughs> there's davis so i can oh. finally put my phone away and davis can film now so shots are about to get way sexier so Ooh. signing off for now hi davis's camera you look prepared always a lot of moving parts a lot, a lot of, of crazy too. shots i need every camera angle i can get so what we're probably thinking is probably giving a GoPro, we already have one down in the truck below. It's on the bed, it's on, I mean, it's on top of the cab for him to land into. I might want to throw one on the back of this helicopter to kind of get an eye in the sky kind of shot. We've got this man right here, Lance. He's gonna be flying FPV for me, helping me out a lot. Yep. Uh, we've got the cameraman behind this camera, uh, Davis. He's gonna be getting the shots wherever he can, the slow-mos. Uh, and then I'll be up here making sure that everybody's kind of doing the job, doing my shot, flying a drone and whatnot. But it's a lot of moving parts, but if we do this right, it'll be, Fantastic. Biggest concern right now is probably making sure we get every shot because we've only got two tries. We've got two attempts to get every shot we possibly can. So for two takes with an upstairs and a downstairs and only three camera guys here, it's it's gonna be rough, but we're just gonna have to make do because all we've got is two. He brought two parachuted bags. So let's see if we can do it. Should be awesome. Jump path. So if I'm going kind of like this and then it's like, you know, <laughs> Oh my wow. so, <laughs> yeah, Just keep going, but so I need to scary. get closer to the clip. Spin. Okay. Uh, I, as soon as I get service, I'm ordering one of these. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, ah, oh, sick. dude. <laughs> what the things are? Okay. Rips, yeah. dude. Yeah. Give me another one closer to the truck and just straight over. Tight, so tight, this tight. is FPV drone flying. This man right here. This is not just your your everyday drone. He's basically following the path of what the jumper's gonna be doing and his little drone. Watch this. And he just did a backflip. <laughs> oh my. He says, watch yes. this, and then backflips his drone off a cliff. Hold my Capri Sun. Yo. I mean, I could lean against this. I could probably lean right here. That'd be fine too. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm just worried about the fact that you've got FPVs on, and, and whenever you're flying, I know it can make you kind of like wobble sometimes because of your shots. I rarely wobble though. Really? Just a little bit. Yeah, we have a coworker, the one that you met down there, Cole. Uh -huh. He's the one with diesel right now. He flies my FPV, which isn't even FPV. It's just a Mavic Air 2S, but it has an FPV mode where it locks the gimbal horizontally, so it gives you those wobbles, those, those yeah. kind of shots. But even when he's doing that, he goes like this when he's flying. <laughs> so, like, yeah. no way he'd be able to do this on a cliff. You need a harness for flying a drone. You do, man. Because, I mean, imagine you're flying your FPV, you feel it going down, and then, oh, there you go. That's not the way to, you know, yeah, do it. So in a couple hundred yards, uh, well, at, at basically the road you're on is going to come to an end. There's, I think there's a sign that says road closed, but a couple hundred yards before that sign, which is roughly a couple hundred yards in front of you, it looks like you might be able to break left and get down into that little wash. You're going to have to drive up the wash. So whether you get in close to where you're at now or find, I don't know, from up here, you can't tell how steep and gnarly it is, but it's coming over us. Ready? Three, two. Be following him all the way. It's only gonna be three seconds because he's like, after I jump, I gotta pull in three. That's what he said. But it might be cool to have a. Still follow him down. It might be rad to have a stationary looking over the edge too. If the 
if the 360 camera just looked over the edge to have a stationary that will watch him jump over and fall down. You could, yeah. There's a bunch of places here on the rim that... The shot here, for some reason, this shot doesn't work. We have a second shoot, but then it leaves us with one shot at landing in the back of the truck. Van, are you cool to hold the camera? Yeah, I got to, bro, I'm, I'm the first time tonight. Uh, what are we shooting right now? Are we just going to shoot everything gearing up, get on top of that thing, and actually send it? It's just about go time. This is the moment where he starts to get in the zone. Feeling good, Marshall? Yes, sir. Feeling good. I mean, if anybody can do this, it's this guy. He is one of the most experienced base jumpers around. Not just that I know of, but just literally around. Um, so he's uh, the plan right now, like I said uh, a second ago. We're gonna have to cheat this. So he's gonna jump because we can't get the truck close enough to the landing zone. So basically it's gonna look like he's going over the edge. He's gonna pull a chute. He's gonna land down in the wash, at which point I'll jump in the helicopter, fly down, grab him, reposition him back um, up to the top. And then we're gonna allow Diesel Dave to go down the road a little ways where things are a little bit clearer and he can get a better shot. Good game. Okay. Sounds me. It's on you, Dave. I'm ready? actually going to say something. So Dave... Yes, sir. I'm in position and ready to make history. Hold on. Let me, uh, let's try that again where I say you got a copy and you say yes, sir. I got a copy and I'm going to say, are you? Okay. That was good. That's safe. Put everything in the passenger seat and just let it record. How are you feeling right now? About to jump off a truck. Can't wait. This sounds good. Yeah, you're heart beating faster. A little nervous. Yeah, a little nervous. I've never Backing jumped up. off a up. Trent, a tent topper okay. over some bikes. We're going to take that off your bucket list, right? Yeah, let's do that. So where are all the other weird things you've jumped off of before? Oh man, I've done some real fun jumps all around the world from wingsuit jumps to jumping off of moving trucks before the bridge. Been to China, jumped out of big military planes. Yeah, this is uh, this will be one for the books for sure. <laughs> Pack this thing real good. Attend, we'll get the audio from Dave panicking and be like, no, 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 and then walk me through how watch me through that sequence. So the, the whole sequence, shot, the, the, the sequence is going to happen. Dave's going to be backing up. You're getting ready to go, and he's going to double up check. In the truck. Backing up in yeah. the truck. He's going to park, and then once he's parked, we'll reset, and then okay. we'll get you like talking to Dave. You ready, my man? We're doing something we've never done before. Whatever. Okay. Get back in the truck, and then as he's getting back in the truck, you're talking to him or something, saying, "Oh, these conditions don't." Look, or who's saying that diesel so, down there is? So he's going. Spark, Spark is going to say, "I don't know if these conditions are great," and Diesel's going to say, "Yeah, there's some gusts down here. Okay. Maybe hold off." Well, it's all going to be one shot as I'm yeah. pulling right here in the truck, yeah, no. talking to Dave. Yeah. We exchange things back and forth, and then finally, when I'm like, I'm like, uh, okay, we're gonna hold off. As me looking up to you talking, okay. you go, go off. I'm on the rock. I'm on, on the, the rack. Yeah, yeah, but that's after we're already positioned. So okay. we'll boom the, all this segment first, okay. and then the last set shot will be you on the rack. Gotcha. Where he says hold off, and you say go off, and then you just rock and roll. <laughs> like I don't like, oh god, I hate heights. This is just, no. Something wrong. Camera. Go for it. Um, hey, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I jumped out, I jumped out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sick. Right, guys the shot went off perfectly um 
it marshals just fine. The, the, the jump went amazing. That was, it was a wild base jump. I'm not gonna lie. There's not a lot of room between him and the cliff side, but uh, it went well. So now we gotta go down and finish the second half of that shot. So we're gonna load all the gang up in the helicopter and cruise down to the bottom of the canyon and reposition to film him landing in the truck. So this is gonna be fun. It's working out great so far and the weather's still cooperating. Yeah. This is great. Okay. This is my part. This is my favorite part for having to fly in the helicopter. Phase two, we gotta get the base jumper to land in the bed of the truck, which is, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a fairly complicated maneuver. Um, the worst part about the day is in everybody's, the worst part about the day is throughout all the hustle and bustle, somebody forgot lunch, and it wasn't me, because I'm the only one that even brought kind of anything. I brought a cooler full of cold drinks. Uh, and we're about to have, we're about to have a bunch of really angry, hungry dudes here in a minute, so we better hustle up. <laughs> That's cool. That's so dope. You're going to have to airdrop that to us when we get back. Yeah. Hey, do it now so I don't freaking forget. I'm not gonna post it because obviously. 360. Well, I still gotta get the 360 for you too. It looked like this is where he's landing from that last parachute shot. So I'm not worried about him doing it right in the middle. If anything, it makes it easier. Okay, I'm gonna spool up. So everything will look nice and similar. Yep, we're all good. I had to warn him, but I didn't want to listen. You need to go a little bit faster in that zone. No, man. He's going up. He's jumping. He's jumping. He's jumping. Let's go. I would like you to sit in the back. That way. That way, when he jumps, you give me the heads up saying, he jumped. Shoots jumped. open. Shoots about a thousand feet, feet. That's when we start creeping. We hit about between seven and ten miles an hour. All right. right when we get to the flag, he lands perfectly in the bed of the truck. We have, celebrate. I have an impeccable depth perception. I could call out like how far things were away. Like, like let's 555 feet. Very impressive. It would be exactly that. That's very impressive. How far is uh? How far is that cliff? What cliff? I'll give or take a few yards. A few yards? <laughs> yeah, like five or six hundred. All right, all right. How long is this truck? A few yards. Everything's a few yards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's my drone. I need to get it out. You gonna get in today or? Drone out. Drone out. Just to like. Yeah. So when they're in. like coming up, I'll put the drone in the air, and then when when they're like we're jumping in ten or something, just. Yeah. Just have somebody tell them the shoot's open. Panicked? Because no, you seem panicked. panicked. I'm not panicked. I'm just hey, you should calm mode. down. I'm in my zone. Well, hurry up. Right, calm down. Calm down. Hey, man, get in here. Did you Come have, like, on. Three seconds. One, two, three. Five. You're, You're cutting it right to the last second. <laughs> he's always cuts it right to the last second. Yeah, he's like, oh. Davis, I'm going to come look at your shot, too. All right. Jeez. Come on, Matt. Have some faith in the guy to do I his do. job. Yeah. That's just my job, though, man. My job is to make sure that everybody gets their shot. I don't know if that's your job. <laughs> what uh? What were you voted best in your high school? Um, tallest person. 
Tallest person? Yeah, really? best, best height person. I don't think I have yeah. anything. Oh, best height person. That's pretty good. Most photogenic height. How about anybody watching this? Put in the comments below what you were voted most likely to become or what you were best at in high school. Or what you wish you would have been there. Oh, what you wish you would No, let's not, let's not make wish because we all know what that would have been. Yeah. If yeah. you were voted best <laughs> at something, put it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Best at taking every last second. Yeah. Matt. One, three, two, Matt! <laughs> I'm you. gonna leave you when he jumps. Okay. He said wait until 500 feet. He's directly above me. Okay, okay. Can you see him? He's about a thousand feet. He's a thousand feet now. So slow it down a little bit. This has to be precise. Coming in hot. Real hot? Should I go faster? Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Slower, slower, slower. Oh man! So close. How fast were you going? Seven. Seven? Damn. Might need to go a little slower. That seemed fast. Did it? Let's, yeah. let's ask him. Let's ask him. So we got one more shot at this. On the roof. He got it though. Yeah! Woo! Nice! What the? Who put an empty water bottle to celebrate? We caught him! On the roof! Woo! Did you guys made any Did that thing anything up? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Right on the roof! Okay, so we know. Thank you. Seven is too fast, three is too slow. Yeah. Five would be just right. We just figured that out perfectly, guys. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, buddy. dude. Yeah, Man. that was money. <laughs> Sorry for the roof plan. Oh, it's totally good. To it's great. What are you talking about? That's sick. <laughs> dude, it sounded like you smashed yourself in the back window. Really hard. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, good, dude. I'll you go. You need? Yeah, that actually worked out surprisingly well. Yeah, it's got a lot of give to it. It's probably really <laughs> soft landing. <laughs> Woo! He's on the roof. Boom! boom. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, did you see that? Woo! Did you get up in the court? Boom! <laughs> oh, I saw the roof come. I was like, oh. You dude. definitely kicked the GoPro on the landing because I can see it's bent back now. Tricks a bit. I was like, we're going to get that I, action of his knee I hitting it. Or do I just try to go for the roof? And I was like, these boys will like that. Dude, you were Even in, dude. Even if you tarnish the landing. You did it. Yeah. It is what it is. You landed in the truck. <laughs> I couldn't catch you on the first one. That was just, I thought that was going to be perfect, but on the way. It felt fast, but my speedometer was, was saying it was seven. It was slower than what we practiced at. Yeah. But watching you come in, I was like, this feels fast. Yeah. But I'm going to stay here because this is what we That's talked about. That's what we about. said right now. Like, way to hold the plan. I just couldn't, like, I was coming in nice and I thought I'd speed up and catch it. So I didn't know if you were going to go fast then and then I would have slowed down, then you would have just ran the back window. Yeah. Did you guys hear me on the radio on the last one? I was like, oh, on the way down? No, nah, just on the way up. I was like, uh -uh. just hold it steady at five. And No, I was, I was in the cab and heard it, but these guys weren't, but I told them what you said when yeah. you got in. Okay. We were probably closer to four, three this time. Okay. Oh, you're like, where is he? Good <laughs> 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 Like, for like, as soon as we were trying to tell you to don't jump, don't jump. Because oh. we were trying to set up the drone down here. The drone, oh, my, my, my phone was too hot because it was sitting on the oh, tailgate. Shit. So as I get in to get ready to film, it says temperature too hot, can't unlock oh, phone. No. So I'm like, 
what do I do? What do I do? Cole came in clutch, handed me his phone. Right By that time, you were already in the yeah, air. Yeah, I'm like, crap, I don't have the camera. I was like, just go. I don't want to miss this shot. And then all of a sudden, the drone gets that shot at the very end. Awesome. And okay. Normally, man, I have a GoPros, burnout's angle, my angle, the drone, his FPV. Uh, his, oh, I haven't seen yours yet. That way, we have two attempts to try and make that happen. And Dave felt that'd be the better way to go. Definitely. So I'm just happy that it wasn't like a. We need to do another take. It was more just like a another one take. take that we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> it was a one take kind of thing and everybody got their shots. That's right. This is what you want what, in the movie business. This is what you want when you're out here filming with a time, when time is of the essence, you don't have a lot of redos. This okay. is what you want. All right, so it was success. Um, so basically what happened is we took uh, him, we took the jumper to the top of another cliff that was kind of uh, like three or four cliffs down the road where the truck had a much better road to drive on below and took him up first jump he jumped kind of got a feel for it realized that the truck was moving a little bit too fast um, and that's okay because we brought another shoot that last shoot had to be like the money shot so second one took him back up to the same cliff he jumped and uh dude it was wild he watching him go down to the truck i'm like oh shoot he's gonna overshoot it and he just stomped right on the roof and stomped the landing and barely made it he was like inches from going off the edge so it worked it was awesome so we got the shot now the last thing we got to do is basically shoot the the kind of like the second half of the ad where diesel dave and i explain what's going on waiting for everybody to kind of come back here to this meeting point shoot that and then we are northbound now they've been good go. i think the shots turned out sick i mean this whole place moab it's crazy helicopter drones base jumping i mean what more could you want matt's stoked on this angle we've got a lot of bodies for the vehicles that we've got may the odds always be in your favor no, no, no. ever <laughs> just mix mortal combat and hunger let's shoot it <laughs> Just have a couple of cut frames from each truck rolling up, each guy jumping out, and then we're from the truck. Not just show the whole process, obviously. Um, but it'd be kind of cool to show us almost coming back from the jump. Like rolling in, yeah, to talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rough and Rowdy. The first time we've ever given away two trucks in a single month. That's right. You see Rowdy behind me? That's a 2021 Chevy Colorado with all the bells and whistles. You guys already know Rough. Anybody who goes to decentpower.com and spends $5 gets an entry to win Rough. But if you want to win Rowdy, you got to be a Power Club member. That's it. That's all I want to say. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rough and Rowdy. You already know Rough, the full-size Chevy Duramax, but we sweeten the pot with Rowdy right behind me. The 2021 Duramax. Colorado. Country e-bikes with each truck. So go now. May the odds ever be in your favor. May they always be in your favor. There you have it, guys. That is how, well, actually, you're going to see in a minute after we're done talking, you're going to see the finished product. But that is a day of shooting a diesel power gear at. That's you didn't show them before? You, Wait, you saved yeah. it to the end? Oh, yeah. Oh, a smart move. Well, I mean, they wouldn't even still be here, would they? True. Would you guys still be here if we'd already showed you the finished product? I don't think you would. Yeah, because I told him I have a big surprise for him. Huge yeah. surprise. Yeah. So guys, as you already know, I mean, you saw the behind the scenes, but if you want a chance to win that truck right there, you should probably go to dieselpower.com. The link's going to be in my description below because here's the deal. We're launching something new right now, and I love the YouTube videos because it gives us time to be able to explain what's going on. We have what's called the monthly uh, power club. It's a subscription. So you basically sign up and you get shipped stuff every single month and we're giving, we're doing special giveaways for the members of that club only. Right now, there's only a couple thousand members of the Power Club. And remember, only Power Club members have a chance to win right. at Duramax Colorado. Everybody has a chance to win the second truck, the other, you know, big Duramax. So that means if you join the Power Club right now, your odds of winning that truck are gonna be like one in a few thousand. Those and, are damn good odds. And you have odds to win both trucks if you're Power Club Exactly. Member. This is a great deal. It really is just a flat out great deal. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, there were some tense moments today. Obviously, anytime you do something that risky, there's all sorts of stuff that can go wrong. Luckily, everything went right. And now, go ahead and... Hey, should we get skydive certified? No. Um, that wasn't, that's not skydiving. That's full blown well, base, jumping. base jumping. I think you have to start. I, I, I want to start at the base jump. Start at the base jump? Yeah. Well, we did that. Well, then great. Should we roll the footage on that? <laughs> I don't know if we still have footage. Really from that. grainy. It's from 1991. Are you guys ready for this? Presenting the latest diesel power gear commercial. Put it right here.
and then do a thing where it spins and then zoom it out. And then Here comes it. the eagle. Enjoy. Diesel Dave, you got a copy? Got you loud and clear. You in position? In position, brother. Ready to make history? Let's rock and roll, buddy. Hey, how's it looking down there? I don't know, brother. The wind's got some pretty hard down here. Maybe we should hold off for a minute. Copy you, holding on. Hey, hold off, hold off. Hey, go off. No, 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 hold off, hold off. No, no, dude. He's jumping, jumping. We stopped it! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rough and Rowdy. You already know Rough, the 2020 full-size Chevy Duramax, but if you want bonus entries to also win Rowdy, you gotta be a Power Club subscription member. Guys, it's easy. All you gotta do is go to dieselpowergear.com. Every $5 you spend gets you entries to win, but if you join the Power Club, you're getting entries to win both these badass trucks, and each truck comes with the Baku Backcountry e-bike. It's one of the coolest giveaways we've ever done with two of the most capable trucks we've ever built. Enjoy. Yeah, power club! 